Crypto Miner here. Today I'm going to show you how to make a Pi computer into a cryptocurrency price ticker. You may have a Pi computer around somewhere. This one has a case and a screen. But you don't need the case or the screen for this, just a power supply and a Pi computer. The Pi 4 works the best, but the Pi 3 is just fine. There are a lot of different operating systems you can load to these little Pis. Today we're going to be loading the newest image from raspberrypi.org using the Pi Imager. I'll put the links in the description. Now we're going to be installing the Raspberry 32-bit OS. Now once the installation is complete, you'll have to start setting up the actual Raspberry Pi. We need to set up Wi-Fi, passwords, time zones, etc. Here we're going to pick our country, United States, language, and time zone. Your location and time zone are very important to most programming. If the time is not correct, you'll get a lot of errors. Now we need to connect the Pi to the Wi-Fi. Select your Wi-Fi network, add your password, and you're done. Now before we can do anything else, the Raspberry is going to update itself. Now setup's complete, we can start using our Raspberry Pi. Time to start doing some coding. So we call it the command line, and we add in our simple commands. I'll add in the links to the commands in the description. Now during the install of packages, you'll have to agree a few times to continue. You will also have to agree a few times to add certain packages. I would suggest agree and continue. You can always add or subtract packages, but this is just easier to add them all in the first place than you have them on the Pi. This process will take some time, but just keep agreeing and continuing. The different packages that are being installed are the different parts of the ticker, including connection, price, time. It will install the pip and the git. Most of the packages are required to make the ticker functional. Just keep continuing and continuing. The whole process takes about 10 minutes. You want to agree to the auto config. It's a lot easier that way. It'll install a good file. And now you're almost done. Now when the installation is finished, you can close the terminal and restart the Pi. Or from the command line, wait line to sudo reboot, and that'll reboot the system. Now the system will reboot like normal. Go to the rainbow screen. Back to your operating system. And then it will start the ticker. Now the screen will go blank and flicker. That's normal. Then the ticker starts. And as you can see in our settings, the ticker has the counter upside down. We're going to go back in the code and fix this. Now as you can see on the small screen, the ticker is listed vertically. These can all be changed in the code. Now on the keyboard, we're going to hold down alternate and press F4. This will stop the ticker and go back to your operating system. Here, we can call up the command line again and start doing our code changes. Now we're going to open up the config.js file. Here we can remove tickers and add different settings that we want. I'm going to remove all the tickers I don't use. I get all my pricing from Coinbase. So I remove all the other tickers, add in the stocks that I buy on Coinbase. 
code is pretty simple and self-explanatory. Next, we're going to work on screen orientation. We can turn the image upside down, 90, or 270. Now we're going to save that file and restart the computer. First, you're going to get a few blue screen flashes. That's normal. That is the computer adjusting to the new display. These are all normal. It'll flash a few times. Then it'll restart. It'll do the operating system first. Then it will start the ticker. So take that Raspberry computer and get some crypto use out of it. This is Zero the Crypto Miner. Be careful out there on the blockchain. Zero the Crypto Miner here. I'm going to show you how to trade, mine, and sell Dashcoin. Why Dashcoin, you ask? Why not Dashcoin, I say. Now, I don't work for Dash or AntMiner. I'm just sharing the knowledge that I've found along the way. In this video, we're going to be talking about the D3 Dash Miner from AntMiner. The D3 is a smaller unit designed by AntMiner to be fully adjustable. I prefer to run these smaller units as opposed to the larger S9J Bitcoin miners. These D3 units are less expensive and with an update, these units are completely adjustable. Fans, frequency, power. With an update, you can adjust the units to fit your needs from low power to full power, meaning low mining to full mining. Now, as you can see, in full mining mode, these units can be quite loud. With the update, these fans and power consumption can be turned down to low, almost silent. The update I'm talking about is a no-fee AntMiner firmware upgrade available on eBay. Now you can turn the fans down to silent, adjust your power, even adjust your frequencies. One thing I like to do to reduce heat is put the power in front of the unit. Then I found these adapters on Amazon so I can pull the heat out through air ducting with an inline fan. Now once you start mining, you're going to need a crypto wallet. Coinbase is easy to use, but I don't suggest selling your Dash on Coinbase. I use Coinbase to convert my Dash to Bitcoin or Dogecoin, depending on the rate. I don't sell my Dash coin on Coinbase because you lose money on the conversion. Coinbase is perfect for a beginner, but there are better wallets out there. It's very easy to use, but it's also easy to lose money with. Now there are a few really good apps to use. NiceHash, Coinbase, SlushPool, Webull, Robinhood, and AntPool are all good crypto trading tools. Now there are different ways to mine with this miner. With NiceHash, you can mine Bitcoin. With AntPool, you can mine Dashcoin. NiceHash will allow you to earn Bitcoin, track rigs and prices, you can also decide whether you want to mine Bitcoin or Dashcoin, depending on the exchange rate that day. Today there was more profit in the mining of Dashcoin. Just go over to NiceHash.com, create an account, and add the addresses to your miner. It's that simple. Now if you want to mine Dash directly, you can mine Dash directly from Antpool. Antpool has reasonable fees and it's easy to set up. I prefer Antpool to Slushpool because their fees are lower. With the D3 and the update, it's less expensive to run more than one unit when you can run them all low or you can run them as high as you want, all depending on your budget. You can find D3 units on Amazon, eBay, even Mercury. At first, I would just buy a used unit with a used power source just to get started. Once you get used to things, buy another unit, add to the chain. Pretty soon you'll have a farm. Cryptocurrency is the way of the future. And with the D3 Dash Miner, it's simple and less expensive than running a full-sized Bitcoin miner. This is Zero the Crypto Miner, saying goodbye for now. 
Happy crypto mining.